not sure what today's date is. March 17th, March 18th. Not sure. It is Wednesday and I'm downtown DC in the middle of our shutdown week where Kelly, my boss, shut down and not the government. I don't know if that's going to happen. Maybe this is weird foreshadowing, maybe not. But I am probably going to only leave my house today for this and that is literally it. I haven't left my house since Saturday and I'm just taking this time to try and do all the paperwork and work on like the back end stuff of the business right now. I'm really grateful that I have this time to do this stuff because otherwise it was getting done after a long work day and it really was starting to get quite stressful so to be able to have <laughs> weirdly devoted time to do a lot of this is very helpful while it is a scary time i'm still trying to get stuff done so hopefully i can and hopefully we'll be back up and running soon with our regular lives this is kind of crazy but we'll see what happens i'm a bit nervous to open a brand new business in this climate but thankfully we're not open now and we aren't having to worry about paying rent paying bills paying employees so my heart goes out to everyone who is in this situation i cannot imagine what you're feeling yes i'm about to go home and do some paperwork for a couple hours and get some stuff knocked out um i'm fucking exhausted did I say I'm exhausted? But I feel good. Um, we're getting close. And I guess I don't have much to say. It's way too dark to be vlogging right now. But the only thing I have to say is that if you're ever thinking about opening a business, just know that this will be your life. Non-stop work. Well after the sun goes down, before the sun comes up. It's crazy, but at least there will always be wine. All right, good night. had our pre-construction meeting our first one down at the site today and they gave me and Devin two pink hard hats this is amazing <laughs> oh well I just wanted to update you guys construction is getting started things are moving but um there are foreseeable problems in the future so hopefully everything goes well that's all I really have for today. Not much, just, just hanging in there. Construction has been the longest part of this journey, but also the biggest eye-opener for us. We definitely started as just two 24-year-old hairstylists that had a dream, and the amount of trades that we've learned along the way to make it happen and to get this open has just been so rewarding. Um, I feel so grateful for all the mentors and people that have believed in us along the way and been like, yeah, you guys can do this. Like, I believe in you. And I think one of those first people that did that for us was our landlord. Like when we were checking out the space, we knew that, I mean, we love this space, but we also knew he was so excited to believe in our 
vision and to make it happen for us and to help us. And we were like, wow, like we can do this, you know? And then we were introduced and met so many else, so many other people along the way that helped us anywhere from our contractor to our architect to people that have been doing our design, our photo, our branding, our social media, like the list is so long now. And I'm so grateful because something that I've always struggled with as a hairstylist is especially as a young hairstylist is like people along the way have been like what are you doing after this are you still in school don't you think you should go to school well all your friends are all your friends are doing this don't you think you should have something as a backup or what happens if this or are you sure um what if you, you know just like kind of negative saying things that they would say that would make me feel like this isn't even a legitimate career and nothing is harder and nothing has been more challenging than opening and starting a business and i think that this has been so validating in our journey into realizing that like no we can do this like if you are dedicated you can do anything and you can learn anything you don't like there are people out there that want to, to guide people to success and i think that all of us are successful based on someone else helping us like we all are here because of each other and i think that that has just been the biggest eye opener in this journey is realizing how many people love blackbird as much as we do and want to see blackbird as successful as us and now i'm realizing for the first time in my life that being a 24 year old hairstylist is a pretty fucking awesome thing to be and i think for so long i was always embarrassed not embarrassed because i've always been proud of being a hair stylist, but i've always been shy about it or there's always been a little voice in the back of my head like oh well maybe she's right maybe i should go to school or maybe i do need to do something more and it's like no if you have a passion and you're in love with what you do or whatever your craft is or whatever your calling is you can make something out of it a hundred percent and don't let anyone who's you know whispering in your ear that you might need to do something more just because that's what they think ignore them ignore them because there there will be so many people that will bring light into your life and that's what people have done for justine and i in this process i mean the amount of trades and things that we've picked up on and the amount of like networks connections and genuine friendships that we have gained through this process has been unreal and i'm so excited to share them on the other side of this with you guys because it's been magical it's been people from all different backgrounds people from all different careers people with all different plans people with all different visions for us and for themselves have just been on board with this and it's been so exciting it's been so exciting and i'm so proud of what we've done seriously the most proud i've ever been of anything is this right here